Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Data Logic with Shivam. Today I will cover a scenario based Power BI interview question which was asked in Essential. This question was shared with me by one of my connections on LinkedIn. There are a couple of questions which he shared with me. I will share those questions in next video. So stay tuned. Before going ahead, I would request you all to please subscribe to my channel and like my videos that helps me to motivate and create more such content. Now let's first look into the question. We have current quarter to till date sales data like approximately 47 days data we have in current quarter. But I want to compare last year same quarter 47 days data with current quarter. So basically this question is asking you to compare sales data from two periods. In current quarter you have about 47 days. So this is my current quarter Q3 you have the data around 47 days. Now same time last year okay the interviewer wants to compare the sales from the same 47 days in the same quarter last year. So for example I have I mean till date I have only in this current quarter I have 47 day, days data and in uh, similarly I want the sum of sales for those 47 days in previous year same quarter. For example, tomorrow I'll come 40 take 48 days past. So I should have the sum of sales for the post those 48 days. Now also I also should have the sales for previous year uh, quarter, same quarter, uh, 48 days sales data. In Q2, you can see here, uh, for example, I mean, I have three months of sales data. So in previous year quarter sales, they want three months of data. In Q1, they have three months of data like 90 days and they want into previous year quarter sales, they want 90 days of sales data. So this is how they want. So for that, what we need to do? We need to look at the sales for the available days of the current quarter. Then find the sales for those number of days of the same quarter from last year and then compare the two sets of data to see any difference or trends. The goal is to compare how the sales are performing this year versus last year for the same period. Let's look into the data. So I have created two tables. First is date table. Here I have included date, year, quarter, days of year, month. And then I have created the fact table which you can say where I have included date and sales data. Now let's go ahead to the report view. So this is my output. Okay, this should be the output. Now let's validate for this Q3 for how many days we have the sales data. Okay, so we'll go to our source data which is Excel. This is my source data. So for this current quarter, let's select July and August already selected current quarter and if you see the last date which I have is 16th of August and the total sales which I am having is 100665 and 100665 right. So for this similarly for this previous year quarter sales for this quarter Q3 even if I am having the 90 day sales for this Q3 in 2023. I should only show the 47 days of sales data. For example, in next day, it will become 48 days. Here as well, I need to show 48 days of the sales. Hope this question is uh, clear to you all. So let me show you the previous year sales data. So I'll deselect and select 23 July and August. And in August, I'll need to select only till 16. Rest, I'll deselect it. Okay, because I, we don't want to show for whole three month of data. So till or 40 days, 47 days here as well selected. 47 days, you can see here. 47 days selected. And the uh, sum amount is 134790. 134790, right? So this is what the user wants. So how we can achieve this one? 
we already have this current quarter sales measure which i'll show you which is a simple measure where i have write total qtd and sum of sales i have given the date table okay now for this previous year quarter sales let's create a new measure okay first new measure i'll select and name it as pre year same quarter okay so now i'll create multiple vari variable first so my first variable should be for this to calculate the sum of sale previous year i first need to have the starting date of this quarter three right so let's take start date qtr so here we can use time intelligence inbuilt function to get the start date of the quarter so i'll write start of quarter and i'll give the date so which is our this one and then i'll close it okay and then i'll show you what it is written okay start date quarter i'll add this into the table so if it is showing the start date of the quarter so for this quarter my start date should be 7 1 uh, 1st of july 1st of april for this quarter 2 and for the quarter 1 1st of january right now i wanted to know how many days have passed into uh, 2024 as well i mean the current quarter right so i'll again create one more variable which i'll call as end date end date quarter so for this one as well i'll use the inbuilt function of time intelligence end of quarter and then i'll give the date column here and then i'll close it and then i'll show you the result so you can see i i have the last date of the quarter which is present into my uh, data right 1816 now since we have start date and end date we will mask we will subtract this date and we will get the uh, we will get the uh, days passed which is uh, which is into the current quarter right so before that we need this start of quarter date and end of quarter date from the previous year right now it is showing 2024 so what i'll do is i'll use same period last year and i'll wrap this into the same period last year for similarly as well for this one same period last year i'll wrap this and then if i'll click on ok so you can see this uh, date will be changed and this will start showing me the previous year so this is what we want right so now we have two dates start date and end date now i wanted to know how many days have passed right so this is a dynamic for example if we come tomorrow this will uh, i mean uh, we have the 48 days of sales data then it will give me the end date as 48 days and then we can uh, we can find out how many days have passed right so let's create one more variable how many days have passed so days passed i'll use date difference i'll use date difference function for that because we have two dates so the first date will be start okay i have i should have changed a name here start and here as well start date quarter okay now i'll use the second argument as end date quarter now for this end date quarter the date which is showing here is 16 so and the the start date is first so if we minus then it will become 46 days right so we don't want 46 days we didn't we want 47 days so what we will do we will add we will plus one here with the end date so we will act, we will have the date difference as exact 47 days right i'll show you and then uh, we can uh, have the interval as day and then close it 
and then I'll show you the result. So if you can see, we have 47 days of this sales amount, we have 90, 91 days of this sales amount and we have 90 days into quarter 1. Now we have the days passed. Now we simply use this days, uh, number of days and we will calculate the sum of sales of previous year. Okay. So pro for that, what we need to do, we will create one more variable, which is variable brief year, we can say, I'll use calculate here, that sum of sales, okay, then for that, I'll use, sorry, I'll use dates in period function, okay. So dates in period function, first argument, we will take the date. So we will take the date here. Second argument will be the start date. So we have the start date, start of the quarter, date quarter, right? And then we don't want to go back. So we will, and we want to go forward, right? So we have the start date as, uh, for example, 1st July, and we want 47 days, next 47 days of data, right? So, uh, days of sales, uh, sales amount. So, what we will have, uh, we will write is uh, days passed. Days, day passed. Okay. So, we will not give in minus because we don't want to go back. We want it to go forward and we want it to go forward as days. Okay. And we'll close the bracket here, dates and period, and then close the calculate, and then I'll use at the end previous year and click OK. So now you can see we got the similar result, which is 134790. Hope you like this video. If you know better solution, then please comment below. Also, please do watch my other videos for more Power BI interview question. I'm attaching the whole playlist here. That's a wrap for today. I would again request you to please subscribe to my channel and like this video for more such content. Happy analytics.